you asked me a question about immune uh, response. Well, yeah, antibody de um, uh, dependent enhancement was basically what I was getting. Ah, to. that's what you're asking about. It's ADE. Yep. So this is the bear in the woods that I'm really concerned about. And, and uh, Dr. Ely and, and others, you may, uh, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if, if we are seeing, so just the fact that we're seeing high titers that are roughly equivalent and uh, between the uh, levels and they're, you know, calling them titers is a misnomer, as uh, Jessica will remind us. Um, they're rather uh, PCR thresholds of detection as a surrogate for titer in nasal swabs. And uh, the multiple labs are reporting, including in Israel, that uh, we're seeing equivalent or perhaps slightly higher levels of viral replication, depending on the body fluid that you are sampling in the vaccinees than the unvaccinated. Now, that the problem with all of that stuff, and, and I'm sure Jessica's attuned to this, is and we knew this from early, you know, when it was still in China. The Chinese knew it. The nucleic acids stick around for a really long time. And so what you're sampling, if you're, if you're doing, if you're not doing classical virology, you're sampling kind of historic window of whatever's accumulated in the particular body fluid over some period of time. Good, she's nodding. That means I'm not being stupid. Um, uh, and uh, so, so, you know, you've got to look at this data with kind of sideways out of your eyes and with a good amount of skepticism. But if we are seeing increased relative levels of signal, let's call it, in vaccinated replicating with Delta compared to unvaccinated, that would be pretty close to a smoking gun for uh, the vaccination enhancing the replication. And whether it's doing so through an antibody-mediated mechanism or through, through some other mechanism, that, that is the, the big uh, worry. 